We'd like to talk about the very essence of the concept of the ego. Should we or shouldn't we put it to death? What does the wisdom of Kabbalah say about it? The wisdom of Kabbalah says that it's the main law of nature. It's the main given that people have, that the ego that the still, the vegetative, and the animate have, meaning that any existing body, still, vegetative, or animate, it wants to keep, to protect its existence, but that's not considered ego. That's called the desire to live, to exist. If a wolf eats some sheep, can we say that he's bad, evil? He does it in order to survive. This is how it is, this is how it's rooted in his nature, and there's nothing bad about it. But where does the ego begin? The ego starts where I want to harm the other. It's not where I want to prefer my existence over their existence, which is also something that happens in the animal world, but that I want to harm the other without any justification. This is something that we even see in animals, that they don't just kill each other, but only on condition that an animal wants to eat, wants to survive, and feels that nature forces it to. And then it eats another animal, but if nature doesn't force it to, it doesn't kill anyone. You can walk by a lion, and if he's not hungry, he won't even look your way. He's minding his own business, falling asleep and so on. The still, the vegetative, and the animate have no inner program that works in order to harm others. They don't enjoy suppressing others. They enjoy only in order to feed themselves, fulfill themselves, and grow. And therefore it's not called an evil inclination. It's just a desire. The evil inclination exists only in man where we enjoy harming others, where I suppress the other, that I want to subordinate him, that I'll control him. This is the evil inclination. This is the evil desire. Evil meaning that harming others gives me pleasure intentionally, and not necessarily that I gain something from it on the animate level, like a lion that eats someone. No, I don't have to eat anyone. I want to bend that person for them to be under my control. When you're talking about the evil inclination, the ego, it's one and the same? Yeah. So what I understand is that the ego or the evil inclination means a person's desire to harm another person, to enjoy suppressing the other person, that a person enjoys this. It's not about just harming someone, but that he enjoys it.